God. All things are possible. Let me today, as pastor and friend, try with all that is within me, even in these dreadful times, to encourage and impress upon you that beyond a shadow of a doubt, all things are possible with them that have the faith and the courage to believe that God can and that God will. The Hebrew writer says to us in Hebrews 11, faith then is the substance of things hoped for. And it is the evidence of things not seen. By it, the elders obtain a good report. Through faith, we understand that the world was framed by the word of God, that things which appear was not made by things which seem. But thank God for the faith today. Then Luke says, after the Holy Spirit had spoke to Mary, she said, he said to her, with God, all things are possible without a shadow of a doubt. And I know I'm being redundant, but I want to, us to understand because without a shadow of a doubt, with God, all things are made possible. Paul, this mighty preacher, and a believer of the word of God makes to us this powerful statement of four areas in the lives that of many of us who say we believe. I've come by to tell you today that I know that these are dangerous and dreadful times in our lives. And I say within ourselves, and we say within ourselves, are we going to make it true? Yes, yes, I can make it true. And fear is not one of those things, or one of those qualities of life that should be in our lives or on our agenda. God never made them alive in our lives or the believer and for beyond a shadow of a doubt. Fear can, fear will hinder your spiritual growth and your faith in God. Yes. There can be no faith as long as there's fear in our lives. So Paul speaks here, bold to encourage the believer by saying, God has not given us the spirit of fear. Listen, if you are living in fear, it is not one of the, the divine qualities of God. For God says to us in his holy word, as he said to Joshua in Joshua 1, 6, be strong, be of good courage. And as I was with Moses, I will be with you. Fact about that's what Jesus says to us in Matthew 20, 20, lo, I am with you always. Yes, God praises and God's promises never fails us, nor forsake us, for God does not enlist fearful soldiers in his army. Can't you hear Paul saying, in Ephesians 6, 10, finally, 
my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God. That's one of the things that's wrong with many of us who say we are believers, we are half dressed. You need to put on the whole armor of God. I think that I need to tell you, Paul was a bold, courageous soldier for God. And he never <clears throat> uh, feared, no, not even when he faced or stabbed death to face to face. I can hear him said, for me to live is Christ, and for me to die is gain. And in verse 12, he said, for I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded beyond shadow of a doubt that of that which I've committed to him, God Almighty is able to keep it until that last day. In other words, I believe that he was saying, God has not given me the spirit of fear. Listen, even when he was facing Nero's chopping block, I can hear him saying in 2 Timothy 4, well, I'm not ready to be over up. And the time of my departure is at hand. Well, I've fought a good fight. I have finished my course. And now I am ready to be offered up. I don't know about you, but there has been some dark days in my life. And I know without a shadow of a doubt, all things are possible with God. So I want us to know that God is still in the business. And when our destiny is in God, God was said to us, as he speaks through the Apostle Paul, and we know all things work together for good to them that love the Lord, to them who are called according to the purpose of God. Can't you hear the writer saying in Hebrews 11, 1, faith then is the substance of things hoped for and is the evidence of those things that you cannot see. And without a shadow of a doubt, I know God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power. And because of God's power that is within me, never again will I allow Satan to have rule over my life because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the Apostle John has said to us in 1 John 4 and 4, greater is he that is within me than he that is in the world. I'm God's property. I've been bought with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I know, thank God, I know that there is power in his blood. The blood of Jesus is so powerful that when we are washed in his crucified blood of the lamb, don't ask me this because I don't know how that he can take black, vile souls like yours and mine and wash them in his blood and make them white as snow and write our name on heaven's roll. So without a shadow of a doubt in my mind, I know and I'm glad that I know that I know that all things are possible to those who have faith to believe. Let me put a theological pen here and just say maybe 
there is someone today who are listening to me and wondering what about the power of Jesus? Can it really, can he really do it for me? Let me tell you, in the year of 1955, I stood where you are standing, a prime candidate for hell and destruction. But I heard an old preacher by the name of E.W. Barthel say, all things are possible to those that believe. So I stepped out on God's word, believing that God had committed his love toward us. And in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ had already died for us. Let me tell you that I stepped out on God's word. And I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt that God will now I can join with Paul and say, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, Holy Ghost power, that gets in your heart, Holy Ghost power, that shows up in your hand, Holy Ghost power, that get in your feet, Holy Ghost power, that make me love everybody, yes, I know that God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power. Then three, love. I know there might be somebody out there who does not believe that, but there is something about the love of God that will rock you when you get weary, hold you in the time of trouble. And I can hear Somebody says, weeping may endure for a night, but God Almighty, there is joy in the morning. I can't explain it all, but let me tell you that, of which seemed to be impossible to do. With God, it is made possible. I can even hear Jesus saying, Lo, that's what the divine assurance. I'm with you always, even until the end of the world. And so many times, a fellow that I know by the name of Orange wanted to go to the left, but the love of God hold me in his eternal and powerful hand. That's why I know with God, love is made possible. So I shall never again say what I cannot do. For I know that in Philippians 4.13, it says, with God, all things are possible. Then last but not least, God Almighty, yes, sir, God has given us a sound mind. Yet if your mind is shambled and shaky, God didn't give you that mind. Something else gave you that mind, but God have given you a sound mind. So when you have been touched by the mighty thing of God, yeah, God changed your mind. God changed your heart. God changed your ways. God takes out of your hate and he gives you love. Yes, sir. God gives you a mind uh, uh, and uh, a sense of direction never again. Listen to me, my brothers and sisters, uh, to the never again of the Lord God Almighty. Never again will I confess weakness, uh, for God is my strength in weakness, and he is uh, my light and my salvation. Never again will I confess sin, sickness, for I heard Brother Isaiah say that by his stripes uh, we are healed. Never again will I confess doubt and fear, frustration. Well, I can hear Peter say that we are able to cast 
all of our cares uh, upon him. And I'm glad to tell you today that he can and he will. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, not, I'm glad to tell you today, never again will I allow sin to cause me to doubt what God cannot do for I know with God, Philippians 4, 13 tells us that I can do all things uh, through Christ who strengthened me. Uh, yes, sir, for a long time ago, uh, when, uh, yes, sir, death was, earth was, when the earth was in glorious darkness of Jesus, of my rock in a weary hand, uh, Jesus, uh, Mary's baby, and Job's horse pouring in the valley stepped from behind the curtains uh, of eternity and came uh, into a dark world of sin and taken God Almighty my place in death and paid a debt I owed and could not pay. Uh, he died, God Almighty, on Calvary, uh, but he wouldn't stay dead early. On the third day morning, uh, he arose with all power in his hand and now I can shout, uh, I've seen the lightning flashing, uh, and I've heard uh, the thunder rolling. I felt sin breakers dashing up. Uh, they were trying uh, to conquer my soul, but I heard the voice of Jesus uh, telling me still uh, to fight on. Uh, he promised, uh, yes, sir, uh, never to leave me, uh, never to leave me alone. Uh, now, I'm wondering uh, how many do I have listening to me today? Yes, sir. Will uh, just wave your hand and say with your heart, uh, yes, sir, in the midst of these uh, uncertain times where people are dying uh, by the thousands around us uh, with this virus. Yes, sir, the Norris virus, God mighty in my heart, uh, that beyond a shadow of a doubt, God will uh, see us through. Yes, even this too shall pass. Uh, somebody just may be saying, yeah, but now I don't know about you, but I believe uh, in all of my heart, with all of my mind and my soul that the Lord God Almighty is going to see us through. Uh, this is yes, uh, to truly to believe, those who truly believe, uh, yes, sir, uh, that God will. Uh, he has uh, never given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a, of a sound mind. Uh, yes, sir, and without a shadow of a doubt, yeah, that one of these old days uh, when this life is over, I'm gonna be able to go home to be with him, uh, yes, sir, and live with him over there where the sun don't never go down. Uh, I'm just wondering today, uh, how many do I have out there believe uh, the story of God? Uh, it ain't he? all right. He's able uh, to raise up uh, the bow down head. He's able to give ease uh, to a troubling mind. And we could truly sing uh, with us uh, without doubt in my heart. Uh, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of, of glory divine. I don't know about you, but I'm an heir of salvation. I been purchased by God. Uh, I'm born of his spirit. Uh, I'm wrapped all up in his love. So this is uh, my story. Uh, this is my song. Uh, I'm going to praise uh, my God uh, all the day long. Uh, and remember, God never gave us uh, the spirit of fear. That come from another source. Uh, but he has given us uh, the spirit of power, Holy Ghost power that have transformed our lives into new creatures of God and love. Yes, sir, ain't love all right? I'm glad that God so loved that he told us, greater is he that is within you and he that is in the world. Came to him saying, just before he caught a cloud and went back home to be with his father in heaven. I can hear him saying in John 13, 34, a new commandment I'm going to give unto you that you love one another. Love, God Almighty, will make you shout sometime. Love will put joy in your heart. Love will put running in your feet. Love would put, yes, sir, clapping in your hand and make you want to run on to see what the end is going to be. And I'm going to be able to stay 
one of these morning, uh, and I don't know when, but, but I'm going to go home to be with him uh, who died, but he wouldn't stay dead. Died early. On the third day morning, he arose with all power in his hand. Somebody out there know what I'm talking about. Every now and then, uh, when you get weary uh, and look like there is, you cannot see the light at the end of the tunnel, you can just pause for a moment and say, God has not given me no spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. Ain't he all right? Ain't he all right? Uh, he's all right. I can feel him now in my heart. Uh, Telling me, Orange, encourage them to, to keep on keeping on for just a few more days. And after a while, we can go home to be with him who live over yonder in yonder's world. Where there is no sickness, no night, no day, and God's going to wipe all tears. From my eyes. Again, just let me tell you, without a shadow of a doubt, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power. Amen, Pastor. So Amen, kind. Pastor. Thank you so kindly. Bless us. I don't know when it's going to be. Somebody used to sing a song a long time ago. One of these mornings, and it won't be long. You're going to look for me, but I'm going to be gone. I'm going to heaven where I'm going to be able to sing and shout. Ain't nobody going to be there to put me out. I'm going to be home with him who gave his life that I may live. God bless us real good. Just in case somebody's wondering about the virus. We need to reverence. We need to be obedient to the laws of the land. But God didn't tell us to be afraid. He told us to hold on and look to him. Can I get a witness here? Look to him. I know it gets dark sometimes. I've never, in my 50 plus years of trying to be a I've never been constrained from being in the building. But even though I'm not in the building, that don't mean I'm not with God. You too can still be in the divine power of God. Yes, we have become accustomed to being in the building on a Sunday morning, but we still have a God that is everywhere in all things and all time. Thank you. May God bless you. And just let me say to those who might be standing on ears now not knowing what God can do. Your mind, your life might be twisted and tangled up. But the Lord still said to us, if you can believe that Jesus is the Son of God, that he died for your sins, was raised from the dead that you might live, you can have eternal life right now. Bless you. Let me thank to the the Lord God Almighty, for those of us who are members of the New Inspiration Church, and even those others who are listening, that you would be so kind and would share with us, send your gifts, if you please, to 3702, Post Office Box 3702, Shreveport, Louisiana, 71133. Thank you. May God bless you. Help me. Help me. Help me sing. I'm on the battlefield for the Lord. And I don't know about you, but I promised the Lord that I was going to serve him until I die. I am on the battlefield for my Lord, for my Lord. I am on the battlefield. Hello. I'm 
Shut up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Be sweet. I love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. If you don't love me, that's your problem. It's not mine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you too, pal. Bless you. Bye, Love you, Pastor. Love you, Pastor. Love you, Pastor. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Mama. Thank you, thank you. Hey, my love. How are you? Love you, Pastor. Love you, Pastor. Oh, Kobe said hi, too. Okay, Kobe. Hey, Pastor. How you doing, Pastor? Let me sit down. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh, boy. Now you. Yeah, Pat, love you. Love you, Pat. Hey, Wilson. Hey, Wilson, girl. Hello. Right. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hi, how are you? Thank you. All right. <laughs> How y'all doing? Hey, good morning. Good morning. Oh, you doing? Hey, Sally, made it. Now, I'm not sure whether or not we're going to be able to be in for our Lord's Supper for the first Sunday, but I'm going to encourage us in advance that we're going to still try to have, even in our absence, for the Lord's Supper. Broken body. Hey, 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 we're going to try to work on that so we can do it together. Uh, even in our absence, we can still do it together. The Lord tells us, so Lord, we do this. We do it in our members of what he has done for us. We're going to get something together. I'm going to be talking to Sister Brooks, and we're going to get it together so we know exactly how we're going to do what we're going to do. All right? Thank you so kindly. And uh, journey in. Who have uh, disciplined to step into yeah. school? We're going to try to do something. Thank you. Thank you so kind. Silver right. McIntyre. Yes, sir. Big Will Drinking. Well, the, All right. All right now. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let, All right. Good morning, Pastor. Good, good, yeah, good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Good morning. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank Brooke, you. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. All right. Good morning. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you so kind. All right, All right now. Bye. All right, Mr. Leisha. Bye. Bye. Love you, Pastor. <laughs> Oh. James, I'm James. Hey, we are. How you doing, John? All right, bless you. Ah. How you doing, Pastor? This is John. Glad to have you, John. Glad to have you, man. All right, and trust you. Amen. Thank you, brother. Amen. Thank you, brother Stanley. Thank you, Brother Stan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Go back and read from verses 1 through 12. Mm -hmm. Second Timothy 2. 
Thank you. All right, now. Hey, Nick. All right. Hey, good morning, everybody. All right. Good Have morning. a good rest of your day. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So I keep getting can't turn off to the host turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dempsey. Hey, how you doing? All right. Y'all wake up on that. Give all my love <laughs> blessing all. <laughs> hey, Dickie Dempsey. All right. So, uh, hey, hey, Dick William. Good to hear your voice. You, how you, you doing? What you been up to? I've been all right. How you doing? Okay. 